Hey everybody, welcome back to Banished. We uh, just actually went through a crazy rainstorm right there. But I've got time sped up. I recently added a road. We're going to get a bridge made over here. We do have this guy breaking down wood into actually making firewood. And he's pulling from this stockpile. I was realizing he doesn't really have a ton of wood here. There's been some gathering, but I thought I would jump across here and really kind of start taking out the trees and get to the resources here. Before I was desperate, I would go ahead and get up the path set up at least. So, anyway, we're getting that going right now. It looks like we have the trade guy just showed up. I'm going to pause time here. Let's see what he has. Coal, herbs. Okay. Nothing too crazy. He's valuing the iron tools at 8. I could sell some of those, but... Eh, and trade for... I mean, I guess I don't have coal. Hmm. Might not be bad. Okay, so we can do five of those. We do five here. We're overpaying. Oh, right, it's 30, not. Uh, I thought it was 40. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we could trade a couple of these tools uh, for some of this, and we could even just throw in some more to try to make it even there. Something along those lines. That's all right. We'll we'll take a little bit of cold coal. Why not cold? <laughs> so let's see here. All right. So he's got some stuff we can order. Let's see. Uh, I was kind of looking at the seeds, but let me think about that a second. Um, uh, what do we have? What do we have? I mean, seeds are cool. Let's see, we've already got the orchard, the apple orchard. And we know that we've got the pumpkin and the pepper. Pumpkin and the pepper. Let's see about, how about some corn? Let's see if we can have him bring some corn in here. And then, uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, none of this other stuff is really sticking out that much. We'll just leave it at that, that's fine. Okay, and I think we'll go ahead and leave our stocks the way they are. That's totally fine. So let's see here. We've got a couple builders. Just two of the four we could be using. I did put down a house here, so we're going to try to get that underway. I think what we're going to do is really try to ramp up the growth here a bit. Probably add a few more houses. I think food has been okay so far. So we're going to ramp up the housing, increase the population, and then we can have, you know, some more workers. And we want to grow. That's what we want to do. We want Weemsburg to grow and flourish. So uh, let's see. We do have the bridge down here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and I want to harvest trees. And we're going to harvest the nearby stuff. Then they can bring it down into the stockpile, which doesn't have a ton going on here. It looks like the firewood ramped up pretty quickly, which is great. We were at zero, actually, for a little while. Kind of had me freaking out a little bit. And then, of course, we have all this open space down here to contend with. And I think we might actually start putting houses here. Now, we've got homes here, and we could keep adding to that. But we don't have a whole lot going on job-wise here. A lot of that stuff is kind of moved to the quarry. we got the quarry going on the mine. And really, there's a lot to do down here as far as labor goes. So... This is probably a decent um, place to be putting these homes. Let's just go ahead and start another one here, and then we'll. I guess right now we're at two on the on the uh, building needs, so we'll leave it at that. And then of course we can actually go back and and uh, upgrade these as well. Start uh, changing these to stone homes at some point. I think uh, right now you can see we've got 300. The stone is kind of gathering up quickly which is great between the quarry and then just having them gather up the resources we've got that coming in pretty well pretty well okay let's go ahead and pause this a second we're in autumn and it looks like we're all kind of set here as far as the harvest goes um, the farmers as we know are going to run around and do other things since they're not farming right now I think we'll just leave it at that and we are at 2100 food. I wouldn't mind being higher than that going into the winter. You can see it drop pretty quickly there, but... I think we'll make it. I think we'll make it. 
And of course our laborers already have enough going on. They're not going up there just yet, but they'll get around to that at some point. Okay, we're doing all we can there. And our storage is good there too. So let's see. Let's let's kind of take a look through some of the things we can do once again. Now I don't have a bar made. We do we do want to make like everything. I want to have one of everything. So we could get a tavern going. This might actually be a good place for it here, right down in the middle-ish area. Hmm. Let's see, what are we looking at? 52 wood, stone, right? So we're pretty good on materials as far as that goes. Uh, let's do that. Why not? We'll get a tavern going there. Give the people something to do during these long winter nights. All they have to do right now is eat. We might as well have them drinking as well. Okay. Let's see. We're going to pull a couple laborers and add them in as builders for now. And again, I could drop the farmers like this. I could drop them all the way down and do something like that. We shouldn't have to pay that close attention to it, but... That's okay. We can also add fishermen, another hunter. You know, we can kind of pull these guys into those other roles for food gathering purposes. So that should be cool. 1700. I'm thinking I might get another farm going. Let's pause it. Cause we just came into early spring. I kind of like the idea of getting another farm going. Um, and we could pull, let's see, we could pull a lot of those guys back that I had just reassigned. Um, a hunter, a couple fisher, a couple gatherers. We get the farming to six so we can get going on that. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually add one more in there. I think that'd be cool. Something like that. Really try to get our food going, uh, ramped up a little bit. Trying to increase the population, so we need to get them, uh, need to get them cracking here. Let's see, farmer. That's interesting. Okay, that's because we have to decide <laughs> what we're doing. I was like, that's interesting, why didn't he start working? Yeah, we kind of need to decide what he's doing. Let's take a peek around here. We have pumpkin, pumpkin, pepper. Three pumpkin and two pepper. So let's go ahead and make this a pepper. Whoops, that's not a pepper. There we go. Ramp that up. Okay, cool. We are in our ninth year. We blew through a good chunk of food. We were at 2100, now we're at 1000. So I, th I think we're okay. If, if we kind of look at that as the bottom, and it, I mean, it's probably going to go down a little bit more, but it's still not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's cool. What that tells me is we can grow the population maybe again. Now, we didn't necessarily grow just because I put a couple houses down. People spread out, and then they have kids, and the kids can't work just yet. But So there's kind of a there's some ramp up there, but I don't want to miss out on that either. I don't want to go too long. So let's go ahead and drop another house. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's bring this back down here again. Do that down here. And did they clear this out? Yes, they did. And since this is cleared out, we know that the laborers are kind of coming to an end of the number of things they can do. And we have currently five of them. So let's see. Let's have them gather iron, that being kind of the low thing. I mean, our wood is getting down a little bit, but I think a couple hundred is not terribly bad. How much iron do we have right here in this area? We've got a couple there. Hmm. We've got plenty down here. And let's go ahead and look up here. Okay, not a ton. We'll go ahead and keep it down here. Just have them clear out. We're just going to select this whole area because there's really not a lot. Just those three kind of chunks. They'll get through that pretty quick. We could... Hmm, I guess we could do this, this chunk here as well. That's going to be a lot to do. Well, we got around to harvesting, and as you can see, the food is a bit low. Uh, we're in autumn. We haven't even hit winter yet. 
Last time we were on the 2100 mark, you can see it is coming up a little bit. I do have some people spread around into some other food kind of gathering resources, but yeah, it's definitely a bit lower and that's a, it has a little bit to do with our population going up a bit. We've got a few more people running around, but it's a little concerning. We're going to need to keep an eye on that. Now, right now we're going to pause because we have the trader in town. Let's see here. Trade. So he has a bunch of eggs. Hmm. Eggs. <laughs> Let's see. Does want tools. So we could... We've got 19 out here, so we can go ahead and pull a few of these out. We could probably give up maybe six of these guys. And then while I'm here, uh, let's see this guy. We're going to go ahead and throw the um, trader in so that when this happens he'll kind of bring tools in from our main inventory and replenish over here. So that's cool. Uh, let's see, venison, all this stuff. Now, I, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to hang on to this because we're sitting here talking about food getting a little bit low. I'm not really looking to get rid of any of this stuff. But um, the iron tools is not a big deal. We get quite a bit for that. So, And that's going to get us 20 of these eggs. Sure, why not? We'll take more eggs. The tools are kind of easy for us right now. Food, like I said, it's a little bit low. And so we'll go ahead and trade that. That's fine works for me okay let's see here we've got my phone is beeping at me my phone is making noises <laughs> trying to get my attention um let's pause it actually one more time sorry we gotta look at the order again for carly let's um oh you know what i wonder if i changed that last time I didn't do I didn't do just once, so that may not have gone <laughs> through last time. I'm just realizing. But you know what we have here? We have a chicken. That's kind of cool. Let's wait a second. This might just be the food chicken, not the actual living chicken. <laughs> I want animals is what I really want. We want to use the pasture. Um, that looks like just food. But that's cool. We're gonna select that. Um I kind of like the idea of some stuff being brought in just in case we're like desperate, you know, and sometimes that'll happen where you're really desperate and then the trade guy shows up and you're, and you, they have food and you're like, yes, I will take all that I can get. So anyway, we're just going to kind of throw a couple things in here. I think that'll work and we'll do just once. Cool. Start the timer back up. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. See who comes in next. Okay, Get the farmers off doing whatever they're doing now. So you can see we've got some good resources coming in here now. They cleared out the woods and everything. So we got wood is doing well, firewood's doing decently, even the stone, the iron, that's all doing all right. Food is just kind of a thing right now. Um, let's kick out the farmers and just make sure that we've got them doing what we want them to do. Let's see. Uh, two, sure. I guess that's about all we're going to do. We got six left over. We're going to, I think what we're going to do is just kind of spread them uh, evenly between the mining and the stone cutting because why not when there's nothing else to do? <laughs> Hit the mines. Go bust up some rocks. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of looking over at my uh, channel here. I had one of the banished videos up. I'm going to give a quick shout out to Paul Durham. What's up, Paul? <laughs> He had left a comment on one of the uh, previous videos talking about how he enjoyed this series. I'm glad you do. Glad you do. So we're bringing it back here. Episode 5. I may even have a sixth one up uh, Sunday, potentially. This one should be up uh, Thursday, I believe. I think that at least that's what I'm going to shoot for it. So if you're watching this on Thursday or at some point during the weekend, I'm hoping to have another episode perhaps episode six up on sunday ish maybe monday we'll see <laughs> something like that so let's see early spring pause this thing we need to get farmers in here so back pull them back out of the mines out of the mines let's see we will drop a couple fishermen out there we go with the farm 
Let's see if you can go back in for now. Okay, so let's see. We have those two is 13, which means we have a 51 population right now. And that could go up a few. Um, we've got a number of new homes that were finished semi recently. So let's see here. Having said that, I feel like building another house. <laughs> and uh, so we're kind of doing that down here. It's kind of our area of expansion. So let's do that. We'll do another wood one. Why not? Um, hum, hum. That'll work. And we will need builders for that. So. We'll do that for now. Those two. Okay. Some people run around here with nothing to do. Farms coming in. Where are we at? 1,100 on food. I really like to ramp this up. You know what? I'm going to pause this. We're in late spring. This stuff gets harvested kind of early. Um, I'm, I'm almost thinking about putting another farm in. I do like me some farms. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this guy. Can I fit this here? Let's see. Try to line this up a bit. Yeah, if we do it like that. Huh. Okay, I don't want to take away from food. I, I was going to take a hunter out of there. Let's not do that. We're actually going to pull... The trader's probably done doing what he needs to do. So we'll tick up the farmer. Um, oh, right. This still needs to be cleared. We'll just go ahead and let him be a laborer. Er... Sorry, let's see. Builder. I think I think it's building when they're when they're doing the farm, but I don't know. It might, it might be that or labor, either one. But it does look like that's getting cleared out at this point. There we go. Select. Uh, we'll go pumpkin. And let's see. We are short one. There we go. Excellent. So that house should be. started down there so we have kind of this three location operation going on <laughs> for lack of a better term we got the chunk of homes up here we got the other chunk here this is something we talked about before we have the other chunk here now they're probably going to be some joining up here if we survive that long uh, we'll probably connect all of these together along this road but I don't know we could end up shooting this road straight down as well and then over have kind of a loop built some things in here this might be a good place for a market right in this general area somewhat centralized if you're kind of looking at the entire town as a whole um, that might not be a bad place to put something like the market especially with the number of resources we can get here um, wood and stone at least um, the iron is there really isn't much here <coughs> excuse me in fact let's go ahead and jump in here and take a road I'm going to do this, because I think what we're going to do is put the market... We're going to end up putting a market right in here. I'm not entirely sure when. I suppose it's something we could look into um, at this point. Where is it? It's right somewhere. <laughs> Let's see. This guy. So it doesn't take a whole lot of resources. We, we're actually pretty good on that end. Um, so this would go somewhere around here. You can see that area that it covers is pretty large. Um, and we are, you know what? This isn't a bad idea. Let's. I'm actually deselect that because you can see our stockpile here, 99%. It's already full, and the storage barn is going to fill up at some point. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Whoops! Did I? Hold on a second. Let's pause this. I guess I, I guess it works. I guess it's not a big deal. Um, hmm. I thought there was a way. Is there a way to cancel construction? <laughs> I don't recall. There's this guy to cancel. Let's see. Cancel removal. Remove roads. Ah. Remove structure. Oh, there we go. That's what we were looking for. I was almost thinking you couldn't do that. I missed the road by one. I had it in here, but I actually want it up on the road. There we go. Start this timer back up. Now, 
<coughs> Excuse me, I'm checking out our food. Pretty good. 3,300, not bad at all. And obviously we take a big chunk. Uh, they're going to come gather up a bunch of food, bring it to their homes, but still a pretty good number. So I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be our key right there. We're going to leave it there probably for the next uh, couple of years. You know, maybe till the 12th year, 13th year, as long as that's working out. I don't, I'm not going to add anything more to that. We're just going to let it go. Um, but we will start to add, you know, another home here and there. Here and there from time to time. Alrighty, well... We've got the market going, which, which is great. We've got some new homes put in. Let's see, 12 in this. we got 53 population right now. That's probably going to tick up a couple over the next year or two. And, of course, we'll be adding more homes. So our population is doing quite well. we got the market started. I'm pretty excited about getting that up. So I think we're going to leave it at that and uh, kind of let these guys go for a little bit. Let them do their thing. <laughs> and then see how we can help them in the very near future.